What's the challenge and Charles? Josh PH Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Maze Let's Play. In the last episode, that actually last episode was absolutely amazing. I got to ask you guys to pick my starter, and to tell you the truth, that was the highest rated video, uh, highest viewed video on my channel in a good long while. It got like 45 views in the, like the first 24 hours, and I literally have to thank you for that, guys, because that is absolutely we are amazing. I thought my channel was, a, was a dying off a bit, like the, the hype of a new LP and the hype of the, like this Poke, of Pokemon Red Hack. No one does Pokemon in Red Hacks. So like, it's just it's just they're really unheard of on YouTube, and that's why I feel like you know this is just going to be a great LP for us guys. Plus the fact that it's it's 4 a.m. where I'm recording right uh, right now where I'm recording here in the UK. So. Uh, yeah, I just got off a call with some American friends, and I got- I was hyped, so here we are. I'm ready to record. So, in the last episode, I asked you to pick my starter between... Growlithe... Staryu... And... Execute. Okay, so the votes are at this moment in time where I'm pretty much going to call it because it's a pretty much a landslide. It's not going to... I don't think it's going to change unless something drastic happens at this moment in time. I believe the votes are at this moment in time with one vote. Execute. With three votes. Growlithe. But our winner with a astounding 11 votes is, of course... Star you. And this could be actually a really interesting. I've never used a Star You before in my entire life. It's it really is an unloved Pokemon, so this could be rather interesting, and I do have a nickname for it. So I'm gonna call it this nickname. If it fit well, it will fit because of the fact is it's only four letters. Yeah, I'm call it Luna. Luma. After the uh after the star thing that, like, uh, Rosalina has in Smash. That's what I'm calling it. Luna. Luma. Or whatever it's... I don't know how to pronounce it. It's 4am. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'll take this one, then. Ha ha ha. And he takes the Execute. That could be power later on. That could be very dangerous later on. But for now, I think he's just probably going to know, like, Barrage? So he should be fine. Hey, don't you... Did you think I would let you walk away without a fight? I'm about to dish out your f a first whooping. I'm about to dish out your first whooping, aren't we? That's what you said. Well, I'm going to take it back. We're going to bring it back to you. Question of the day for today's episode is, guys. Well, what do you look for in a ROM hack? Let me know in the comment section below what you look for in a ROM hack. Because it's interesting to know because a lot of people ask for different things in their ROM hacks. Yeah, I keep on forgetting barrage hits more multiple times. Ooh, crit. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can ask for in a ROM hack. You can ask for a hot. You can look for like things like harder gym leaders and harder trainers with uh, more randomized teams than the original games. I hit, I got hit five times. You know what? I'm gonna harden. Please stop critting me. Okay. Do I need po? Do I? I don't have a potion. Barrage is going to destroy me, because it's multiple hitting. Oh my god, now you're leering. If you literally just spam leer at this point, I can win, I can still, oh. I can still win this. Oh my god, you're stupid. Oh my god, stupid AI, and I somehow still come back. Oh my god, I don't know how that happened. Anyway, so yeah, there's a lot of things you can look for in ROM hacks, and 
to tell you the truth, I look for story. I am a big fan of uh, having unique storylines, preferably if they're in their own unique region, but it's not in the Pokemon games. But you, if you're making, for example, Pokemon Christmas, it's an amazing game that's still in Johto. So the fact is, you can work with the storyline that Pokemon gives you and still be in the same region and make your own inventive storyline to go with that and have additional features. So you know, there's possible ways to make storyline work if you don't invent your own region. But question of today for you guys is, what do you what do you look for in a ROM hack? Let me know in the comments section down below. I wasn't I wasn't trying very hard. Apparently he wasn't trying very hard. He almost killed me. Get out of my way. I've got more important things to do right now. Wow. You're an actual dick. I like that. I like rivals who are a dick. Does my mum heal me in this game? Because I could do with the healing right now. Mum? Thank you. Mum does heal me in this game, and that's cool. Okay, so yeah, I just got off a call from some of my American friends. Well, actually, the the people I was in a call with are not actually my friend. Well, the people I just literally just like met like five minutes ago. But they're, like, it's they're American. They like it's day like daytime over there in America, or like night. Oh, it's even it's sometime like very early over there in America, and that's. Why they're able to do stuff like this. I'm not able to do stuff like this because of like, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm really like halfway between tired and wired at this moment in time. And I probably should not be recording at this moment in time when I'm like that. But we'll see. There's a dead. There's a guy who's like dead here. Uh, Z -Z 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 -Z. He looks rather out of it. Hey, an object just fell out of his pocket. I obtained a potion. Cool. I just. Obtained a potion out of the dead guy's wall pocket. I don't think he's dead. I just think he's fast asleep. But you know, like, I wouldn't fall asleep in the grass. It's not a thing I would do. I'd not fall asleep in the Pokemon grass because the fact is, there's wild Pokemon in the grass. Okay. Actually, I need to look at Luna. Oh yeah. So there's Luna's stats. And there uh, it's got Tackle and Harden. And it's, it's almost level 7 already. I could actually get to level 7 if I just go in one more fight. So that'd be not bad either. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention in this game, but I did put in the description, is the fact is the day-night cycles in this game, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but there is a day-night cycle, and that's amazing. That's another amazing thing that this game has. I'm actually going to try and get to level 7. You know what, I'm going to beat this Raditor up and see if I can get to level 7. I should be guaranteed a level from this. So I'm going to do that. But I want to get progress done too, so, you know, and, and try and get some more progress done. But the fact is, I want to level 7. Level 7 would be amazing right now. But if I can get Pokeballs in this episode, that'd be really cool. I don't remember how long it takes to get Pokeballs in this game. I'm not the best at remembering this game. It's been about three months since I last played it, but I loved it then and I love it now. Oh, level 7 for Luna. I don't get water gun yet. I don't know even I don't even know Staryu's moveset. That's That's how bad this is. I don't even know Staryu's moveset. So this could be interesting. Hey Nurse Joy, heal me up please. And we can go and talk to these people around here at this uh, nice centre here. So let's go and talk to some of these people, because you know it's a ROM hack, things might happen. Did you find a strange each our Pokemon Center is free, but things like potions are expensive. Well, not that expensive. You know, it depends on where, what kind of potions you're getting. Okay, so you're just like talking basic generic stuff that everybody knows. Yep, again, still basic generic stuff that everybody knows in the Pokemon Center. Pokemon Center, not helpful. Do you believe in ghosts? No. I have one word for you. Ghastly. Wow. <laughs> That's actually true. I forgot about that. Nah. You ain't a sh shrubber of mine. Be gone, you. Yeah, we'll get into the talking bushes later on, because uh, they're, they're a big plotline later on in this game, and they're just really interesting. 
really interesting in the big st of the uh, talking bushes. So this is Jade Village, a gem amongst many. And I believe this guy told us the region we're in. Did you know that the region you're living in right now is called the Baldor region? My fate? Uh, it's my dream to visit Granite City on the west half of Baldor. Okay, so this is Baldor. Okay. Okay, so this is just a random house talking about Spiro. Not of importance here. But I'm going, to, I'm going to end up talking to like literally everyone in this game because that's the thing. That's what I do in ROM hacks. That's probably what everyone does in ROM hacks. People aren't wearing enough hats. I yeah, I I second that sign. I second that. People aren't wearing enough hats. This is the trainer school. It's uh, not not cool. Not even important to even go into, so there's a trainer school. Not important, but... Okay, so I'm just going to read every sign. Oh, there's a dead guy here. Help. I've fallen and I can't get up. Please, I need medicine so I can stand up. You need medicine to stand up. If I had a nickel for every time I've learned to catch a Pokemon, I'd be rich. Wow. That's just throwing it in this guy's face. But anyway, what we need to do here is we need to go in the mart. Hey, could you uh, do me a favor? Someone told me that old man Jenkins has fallen over again and he can't get up. This is fairly a reg this is fairly regular thing though. He he just needs his medicine. Would you retake this to him, please? Obtain the medicine! Is the old man back on his feet yet? No, he's not back on his feet yet, but he will be. Yeah, so the Mars attendant won't sell us any items until we go and get this, uh... Until we give old man Jenkins back his medicine. And to tell you the truth, I actually went back to the starter town thinking it was the collapsed man on the other route that I'm supposed to be talking to. Uh, when I first played through this game, but I'm actually supposed to be talking to Old Man Jenkins right here. This is Old Man Jenkins. Oh, my medicine. Joe handed over the medicine. I should be more in good. Wait, I should be in good condition again before too long. Now, what we're supposed to do here is we're supposed to actually go back home and go and talk to uh, Professor Cedar again because the fact is, it's going to take this guy a while before he actually is to get back up. But we can find it. There's there's a random trainer battle here, too. So let's go and face this fisherman. Don't worry, he's not going to have anything we can't deal with at this moment in time. He's actually just going to have—he's just going to have a free magic off. So there's nothing to worry about here. And magic off's moveset is still not been messed around with. It's still only no splash. So yeah, we'll fight this and we'll go back to the. Uh, Starter gym, to the starter town, and then we'll go and talk to Professor Cedar. And I think we might be able to get our uh, Pokeballs after that. I think I'm not sure. Wow, Magic Ops sucks for experience. I can't tell you what my plan, uh, what I was talking about with those Americans, which is annoying me because the fact is. I, I've got like future, big future plans for the channel, and uh, I can't talk about them because I want to talk about them, and like, like I'm itching to talk about things, but I can't talk about things because like there's that spoilers, and I, you know we don't do spoilers over here on on Joe's PH Games. We don't do spoilers. Oh, you have a Goldeen. Okay, that's something that I actually might be able to do some damage to me. Tail whip. That's not helpful at all. Don't tail whip me. Oh, peck. Yeah, great. You're just going to peck me. Actually, I wonder where the water stone is in this game, because I know where there's a fire stone. I, don't just, I can't remember where there's a water stone. Yeah, I honestly can't remember where the water stone is. We're level 8. Not bad. And we learnt bubble. Right, not bad at all. That's actually really cool that we just learnt bubble and we got and we've got 
level 8 on Luma, so we could be doing really well at this moment in time. I actually don't know what I'm going to be picking up to join the rest of the team. I know there's a lot of gift Pokemon in this game, and I will be trying to pick them up. I don't know if they'll be team members, but I will try and pick up every gift Pokemon there is in this game. There's quite a few, and I like them all. So it's pretty Bulbasaur, which is coming up soon. Ah, Professor Cedar. Joe! Thank goodness you stopped by. I completely forgot to give you and Jordan your... So, very, so, your I forgot to give you and Jordan something very important. Speaking of Jordan, where is he? Get out of my way! Why did you make me come here after all this time? Why did you make me come back all the way back here? Calm down, Jordan. Calm down. I called you back because I need you to be equipped with the best technology. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex! It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia! Take one of these with you. Okay, so we got a Pokedex! Alright! Excellent! As you travel far and wide, I suggest you try finding it, filling it in the Pokedex. You might have a, you might already know most trainers' goal is to defeat all eight gyms in the Baldur region. From there, you can try to take on as many uh, on the Elite Four, the Elite Trainers, as they're called in this game, at Topaz Peak. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Yes, only the very best trainers are good enough to make it there. Blah, 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 blah. What are you waiting for? Get going, you two! Yes! I can finally get out of this puny town! I'm gonna be way better than you... way better trainer than you! I'll go and make sure my sis throws me her other town map away too. Crush you later, you creep. Wow, I really want to hit. I really want to hit that guy now, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go get the map. Can I get the map? She makes a Taylor Swift reference and I'm just going at the map. I'm not going to say her lines because the fact is, if I say her lines, I'll get done for copyright. So that's not happening. I believe we can go get the... Uh, st I believe we can go get Poker Paws if we go and talk to Old Man Jenkins now, so uh, I think we should be okay to go and do that. Once we do that, I can end today's episode and it can s I can go to bed finally because like, I should probably go gone to bed like 18 minutes ago. <laughs> It's like half four now. <laughs> My god. I'm glad I'm not recording a Nuzlocke at this time of night. My decision making skills would be awful. But my let's playing skills, they're okay at this moment in time. I'm going to run away from you, Rattata. Okay, so I think we should be back in uh, Jade City now. So yeah, we're back in Jade City. I'm going to go and find Old Man Jenkins. And then we're going to go and get the... Uh, uh, Pokeballs, hopefully, I think. I can't exactly remember this part of the game, but it's it's a really good game, and I love the fact that there's like red, all these ROM hacks available to to the world because like, Pokemon, the main series games aren't available. You know, there's like the hype is dying down, so there's ROM hacks and there's RPG Maker and stuff like that. There's all these ways of playing Pokemon that like people just don't notice, like. I know it's not the best way to bring up back, bring back hype to the Pokemon world, but it's a good way to start. Hey, I'm the best there is when it comes to catching Pokemon. Do you want to know what not to do to catch a Pokemon like you're a professional? Yes. I don't even know why I just said that. Okay. Can I say no then instead? And that like, you'll do a catching tutorial? Excellent. You're really quite simple. I wonder which Pokemon I'll get this time.
It's a Mareep Sheep! I believe what he, Old Man Jenkins here is referring to is the fact that the game will randomize his catching encounter every single time. I mean, it's not important, it's just relevant data, but it just randomizes it, so that's pretty cool. That's what he's referring to, anyway. First, you need to weaken the po target Pokemon. Can I have some Pokeballs? Oh, I have to... Do I have to buy Pokeballs? I hate it. I hate Romax where I have to buy Pokeballs. Yeah, I might have to buy Pokeballs. Oh, so it's always... Is it always a Mareep? Because I swear it wasn't a Mareep when I played it. Yeah, we're just going to see him catch the Mareep again. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that, guys. Oh. It's night time. That is cool. It's night time now. So it was daytime. Now it's night time. I wonder if that makes encounters change. I actually don't know what night time does to this game. I actually don't know what that does. I guess in like encounters will change on routes where there is more than just like Radita available. Because like, at this moment in time, there's like Radita, there's like Starly. Uh, well, not Starly, it means uh, well, Spearow, that's it, Spearow. And uh, other Pokemon that are just not important to us right now. Well, those that Mareep about, so that could be interesting to catch too. Because that's the mascot Pokemon of this game, but I've already ran with a Mareep, so I'm not going to do that. I don't know what my team's going to be for this series, but I do know one thing. I am going to end today's episode right here in Jade Village. I'm going to buy some Pokeballs as we're ending. So, in today's episode, we went to Jade Village. We got our, we got our official first Pokemon in Luma. And we, um, I think we went to Old Man Jenkins and gave him some medicine. And if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Please tell me to not record at 4am in the morning again, because otherwise I'll just end up doing this every time I'm up at 4am in the morning. Because, you know, I'm like that. I'm a, I'm a weird person. Like that. I'll just end up recording at 4am in the morning. And I'll buy some more potions too. Okay, so that is going to be it. Don't forget to answer today's question of the day, which of course is... Uh, today's question of the day, what is it? Oh yeah, what do you look for in a ROM hack? Let me know in the comment section down below what you look for in a ROM hack. I look for story, especially if the storyline's in a new region, but they can make the normal generic region work too. And let me know what you look for in a Pokemon ROM hack. But until next time, I am Jokes PH Games, and I am out. See you. Ah. Uh, Again. Yeah.